Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to teleport players with various various methods. And yes, I have the best upload schedule, but whatever. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a part here. And then within this part, I am going to add a script. Now, you could do a local script or a normal script, depending on like what your case is here. But for this example, I'm going to be using a script, like a normal service script. Once we're in, I am going to define our teleporter, our first part. So I'm going to write teleporter equals script.parent. Now what we're doing here is we're creating a variable and then we're simply getting the parent of the script, which is the part here. Once we're done that, we're going to utilize something called the touched event, which we can do by doing teleporter.touch connect function and then enter. Now what this will do is whenever something touches this part that's in the workspace, it'll run whatever code is in here. Now, the cool thing about the touch event, it actually provides us with what got hit. So if I write hit in here, yeah, and then write print hit, whatever touches that part, it's going to print it out. So let's say our player walked over it, or any player walked over it, um, most likely the legs are going to touch it or the feet. So this will print uh, the player's foot into the output over here. So now that we've actually got what's hit it, we need to check that it's actually a player. Now to do that, we can check the parent of the hit. So if we do hit the parent, which will get our character. So let's say I was walking over it, I'd get the 50 alpha character that's in the workspace. Now within every single character, uh, there's a thing called the humanoid. So if we do find first, God, I can't spell, find first child humanoid, this will get the humanoid. And then if there is a humanoid in there, then we can go on, oops, I forgot my if statement. Then we can continue. So now that we've checked that it's actually humanoid, so it is a humanoid, we can define the character. Now you don't have to define the character, but let's say you're adding extra code later, it'd be better if you do define it because if you're doing other things. So I do local character equals hit the parent, which gets the parent of the hit, which is the character. <laughs> and then we can actually teleport them. So if we do character, the humanoid root part, and humanoid root part is like the core of the character. So if we move to humanoid root part, everything else is going to move with it, the head, the limbs, stuff like that. And then we're going to set its C-frame. Now you might be wondering, why don't we use position? Uh, honestly, don't know. It just breaks. So don't use position. Make sure you use C-frame. It's a better practice anyways. Then we're going to create a new C-frame with C-frame.new. Now let's say you already had coordinates set up, Let's like a vector free. You could write that. Don't write vector free. Just write the numbers. Um, you could write that in simply, but let's say you wanted to teleport to a different part. So if we go into, back into our workspace here and create a part, let's say all the way over here and we'll change it to red just to distinguish it from the other part. And let's name it teleport R2. So now if we, we can also define this here. If we write teleport R2 equals game dot workspace. I use wait for child just to be safe and teleport R2. And now what we can do is you can either do teleporter to dot C frame. That kind of works, but you're going to get the rotation of the part as well. So that's what I don't do that, but I see people doing that. So you can do it, but it's going to mess up the rotation of the character depending on how the part itself is rotated. So let's say if I had this part rotated up the, when the tele, when the player teleports, they're going to be facing up as well. So we kind of don't want that. We just want them to teleport to the part. So we can just do teleporter to the position and that'll work perfectly fine. So now if we go over here and we play, wait for the game to load in, it should teleport us. Simple. Now the part's unanchored, but if you anchored the part, it'd be fine. Another thing uh, with teleporting though, is let's say you had this, I don't know, some, some sort in the floor or something like that, the player's actually gonna, um, teleport into the floor and they'll get stuck. So what I do is add uh, with a vector free, I'd add five to the Y axis. So they actually teleport above just to make sure. So this is five on the Y axis. And then with that, we will be finished. So if we load into here, if they walk all the way over here, oops, we touch this part, it'll teleport over here perfectly fine and we're facing the correct direction as well. So yeah, besides that, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, easy.